just for a second. I'm gonna walk over there and see the. Seen it. Now we have the hills have eyes that don't have to steal our bike. Worry about that place like this. We just got out of a Peterbilt a while ago. A big fat Peterbilt and now we're way out in the swamps where the hills have eyes. Yeah, that's where we're at. I mean it's actually really neat, you know? I could go fishing here. It, it looks, looks pretty deep actually. I could push you. I mean, yeah, you could go fishing here. I don't want to go in and fish. Oh, oh. Look, there's nowhere for the alligators to hang out. Yeah, it looks like it's moving kind of quick for him. Yeah. And it's. Yeah. That ain't a gator, is it? A stick or something? I just see sticks. On the bank? I don't see no gators. Okay. Unless, unless that's, that's a gator with a camera. Oh, that was it. See it? See it move? That was it right there. Do you see the ripple? That's what I was pointing at. That was a freaking gator. I hope you get to see it on my thing. I, it kind of looked like a stick, but I think it was a gator. Did you see it take off? Yeah. Well, I guess I can get here in this water. water. You can see something on top of the water. Where? Uh, it's, it's coming back this way. It, it might have been a turtle. We saw a freaking gator. Maybe, maybe. Okay, if it wasn't a gator, we're going to say, I'm going to say it was a gator. You can say it's whatever you want. It was long. I'm not an editor. It was long, it was probably a gator. Yeah, it was long. I'm not an editor. He's our editor because he's brilliant with those things. Maybe yeah. he can zoom in on it a little bit. And I actually think your, your GoPro today is where we have full screen. Look, they've even got chairs set out I'm here for us. You can... They, they got, oh my gosh. <gasps> There's a turtle. Did you see it? Yeah, yay. I, saw it on my I pointed it back there. I got him. I got the turtle. Oh, oh, you bet you did too. Oh my. Somebody coming back here with their four wheel drive? Apparently. <gasps> Don't be running over on your bikies. They better not. I'll shoot them. <sighs> they're coming back here to go lunch. Yeah. And drink beer. That's what they're gonna do. Tonight. They're gonna go pick up bitches. I mean, <laughs> bitches and hoes, bitches and hoes. Are they making them fucking puddles worse? Yeah. Them ass hats. Are we gonna go through them or does it just turn around over there? I'm following you, Daddy. It's getting warm. It was cooler in there. Oh yeah, you can see their tail lights down there, see them? Yeah, we've looked on the bottle though. Well, do you want to go on this one or do you think it goes the same way? Same place. Okay. Just one road. Hold on, slow down. I could get turned around on these dang rocks. Does this road go oh, the other way too? It doesn't, does it? Uh, what do you mean? Like, can we go across the road and drive the opposite direction? No, I don't. Well, fill it in some I don't think so. I mean, it's, not, it's, a, it's a regular road. You know, just a regular state route. No, it's not a... No. I told you I'm back here gawking. Maybe you should do your swerveys all over the road. Look at them, they messed up this gravel, acting a fool. So at six miles an hour, I can hold it up, but I don't think I can at four. Teen, I don't do that kind of stuff very often anymore. And I can't say I won't at some point in time decide that I'm not gonna do wheelies on the gravel, but I just don't know. Try be easier doing them on the ground. No, no, that, we had, we'd have to jack it up. I mean, you know, speed it up. For really? Yes, for for me. I don't want to do fast wheelies. If I'm doing wheelies, I want to do parking on the Well, yeah, they're safer. But what I mean is, then if I fall, I'm only going ten to get it. To get the to get the wheel off the ground, it takes some some torque. 
And when you weigh, uh, you know, it don't take no 200. It, it, it might, it might, Willie, for you, you're significantly lighter than I am. I bet if you slid your weight back on the foot, yes. and gave it some throttle, I bet it would be lighter. That, that would do it. If I slid back, that would do it. But then I could see myself sitting in the parking lot while the bike goes on. Yeah, I'm sure you would be. we've ever showed him any proper battle scars on that bike are you gonna make up stories about how how that got their stories of grandeur about how the battle wounds got on that one all right I'll tell them all about it are you gonna make up stories of grandeur N no I'm not why not I'll make you up oh okay what, what's your story um we were running from an alligator <laughs> And they go 35 miles an hour. And then it was like a, what's it called? Mowgli or the Jungle Book or whatever. Yeah. And he called in his cheetah friends. <laughs> do you want to take over now or do you want me to keep going? You got to add a little and then I'll add a little. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sure everybody saw that video on uh, Facebook where that tiger was chasing them people on a bike. We were right in front of them. So we were part of it. You just didn't see us on video. Okay. Go ahead now. Where was Ricky Picky Tabby when you needed him, right? I mean, and then the snake came along. Oh my God. Then the bike fell over and, and the alligator ate the girl. That's the end of the story. Well, that wasn't a very good story. You're supposed to say, well, let's see. Then the snake came along. The snake is the princess one that tells everybody what to do, right? And she said, don't eat our friends. That's the dog whisperer. He picks up strays and feeds everything that gets near him. So they didn't kill us. Meanwhile, up there, he done rolled his bike down a mountain cliff. But she saved him and put him back up on the road. So the only thing that was damaged was the bike. Okay, now you can tell your story about how the bike got its battle scars. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Our trailer is three and a half feet tall. No, two and a half feet tall. Whatever. Anyway, oh. anyway, it had been raining. With no sign. Yes, and, uh, and I had put the ramps down. Now, we had been loading the, the V-Star up and down them ramps with no problem. I just drive it right up, you know. It just chug a lug a lug. You know how slow the, the 650s are. Well, compared to this thing. In the bottom gear. Yeah, in the bottom gear. Right? So this here, when you when you hit it, it gets it. So I go up that ramp uh, a little bit too fast. And it had just it had just rained a little bit. And the engine that we had hauled had, had lost a little grease on the on the on the on the ramp. Likely excuse. Right. And I always say that. But anyway, when I put my brakes on, when I got to the top of the deck. The, the, the bike went sliding to the right, and when, and when my when I put my feet down, they started sliding too. So I came off the bike uh, onto the ground, and then the trailer, then the bike fell and followed me, and it scratched up my mirrors. Now first he rolled out of the way, so the bike didn't land on top of him. That's right, and I got a dent in my tank over here. Woo. Now wait a minute, at the time it was still my tank. That's right. And breasted the tail light and the something else. Yeah. Oh. It's messed up everything. All within its first 30 miles. Like the second or third day after we had it. Yeah. But we still liked it. Yeah. We bought it to use, not to baby, right? We didn't go home for, for, for over two months, right? So we couldn't drive it in that condition. So we just carried it around. And the kickstand broke. Yeah, kickstand broke. That's right. I don't 
know if the wreck broke it though. They got hollow kickstands, so you can't really leave it down if you trailer it around much. Yeah, that's clear. Yeah, actually, we need to probably put that in one of our review videos that that's not the. Because I know a lot of people say, oh, if you trailer bikes, that's you're not really riding. But we were in Ohio a couple days ago, and now we're in Georgia, and who knows where we'll be in a couple days? You know, Dallas, Seattle. Who knows where we'll be? So ours go on a big trailer well yeah i mean we've already put on 40 miles today and we're just out looking around it's clear and we'll probably do another 60 miles i'm not in no hurry to go back are you about an hour's worth of fuel but beyond that I'm good why is that I mean, do we need to go to the store for anything uh, why do, if you want we can drink some water I'm not thirsty but as hot as it is it probably wouldn't hurt you want to go to that one park by the airport and do you want to get water first or do you want to go to that park by the airport see now that side road did the same thing as the other one I kind of wonder if some of them will disappear down in the swamps too I think a lot of them do. Do you want to stop and get a water and get fuel, or do you want to just go to that other park first? I've got water in my backpack. You see all that water over there? There's like a, a river or a lake or something. Now, I, there's a lot of lakes over here, but there's no access to them. They're just randomly, sw they're swamps, right? Instead of lakes. Well, that's got a keypad, so we can't go that way somebody's house maybe stone creek estates they're not gonna let us come back there i like that house too them dang snobs why wouldn't they let us come back there you know i really like georgia i really do if they had better taxes we'd go look at that plantation house i want to stop here and have a drink of water and then head to town or wherever you're going to take me. Okay. You want to park under the yeah. thing? Yeah. There's the truck. It's still there. Lopsided earlier, that back tire's in a giant hole. See it? It's in a hole. hole, hole. I need a new pair of boots. I'm missing a pointy thing out of that. Well, what are we going to do about it? You're going to give me a drink? Uh, dirty You're a dirty girl. You know you're a dirty girl. Ugh. Oh, stand up. Get your leg. Man, that was just a quick little pop, skip, and a jump from the truck stop. That was nice. My phone is not operating correctly. Is it too hot? Or? I think it's hot, yeah. <laughs> it won't open the GoPro app. Ain't that funny? You just want to take a few sips and then drive on? Oh. You're so... I guess you got you got biker skills. You born to be a nasty biker. You're so funny in there. Well, you, at least you left me a sip. Well, I was trying to leave you some. Oh, look, you got biker skills. We should probably get straws if we're gonna do that. I said I wasn't really thirsty, but I think it's so easy to get dehydrated, it don't hurt just to drink extras. I think I better put my phone out of the heat. Okay, yeah, I mean, the sun's shining on it and it's hot out here. If it rings, you ain't going to answer it on the bike anyway. 
I wish it was just when I hit that, but you know, I don't have this to get that. You wanna get another water? Like with them? Okay. You gonna buy one or get one from the truck? The trucks are all tall. Oh, my key's in here. I'll stay here. Do do do. I can hear what you're saying in there. There's a place in France where the women wear no pants. I hear you flirting with that girl in there. You know what? You see this thing here on the back of my bike? This loose piece. Oh, yeah, we got to that. Yeah. It, I mean, I, it doesn't seem like it's going to fall off, but it is getting looser. This guy's loud. This truck. Everybody here does rail yard stuff, it looks like. This guy's been in and out here three or four times today. Oh, he's got a little girl with him. Little bitty, see her? See her? She's tiny. She's just what? Maybe three tops? You see her? He's been in and out of here several times. I guess he drops stuff off and somebody else picks it up or something. I was going to go past the airport to that one park. I don't know if there's anything back there, but uh, I'm just going to circle around and go out the other way. Thanks for riding along.